Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to make a scissor jack for cars with your own hands. The scissor mechanism itself will be made of 60 by 40 shaped tube with a 3 mm wall. The tube was sawed into segments of 140 cm and the platform itself will be 160 cm long which is slightly less than the rocker length of a sedan or a small car. All the pinholes will be reinforced with the washers or metal slabs. The holes for 25 mm pin are drilled in the center of the crossbars. The other end of crossbars was sawn off for a better fitting to the coupling pipe. The coupling pipe or synchronizer of two scissors mechanisms will be made of 60 mm pipe. It's just great for the tube we chose. It turns out that four crossbars will be welded to one pipe and the remaining four to the other. Now we need to strengthen the holes and purchase pins. Was lucky to find such 25mm threaded axles. Now we can weld the crossbars to the pipes and check the mechanism so that the pipes cannot move on the floor, although there are such lifts too. There were welded two pallets for each of mechanism. One of the coupling pipes will move along the pallet. An angle was cut for it. The second pipe will be welded to the pallet through the clamps. A pipe section was welded from below. Everything will be tightened with the welded studs. That's how it all is going to work. So far there were installed 4-ton hydraulic cylinders with a cylinder of 50 millimeters. They are quite weak for such jack, but they were at least available. Next we'll need a hydraulic power unit which will fill the cylinders with oil. There's almost a ready-made version in stock, it's a gasoline engine with an adapter to the gear pump. Using such hydraulic power unit you can lift a car practically anywhere. Probably this will be relevant for the garage that has one live, which is enough for two bulbs. The adapter consists of a coupling and a gear pump fastening on which the pump is held. We installed GP16 as it was already available. For the hydraulic power unit we'll also need a tank with hydraulic oil, high pressure hoses for the device's connection, a single section valve which remained from the track type tractor project, a T-joint, as well as two hoses for the hydraulic cylinders. We'll make a test of the entire hydraulic system. When the lever is pulled on, the hydraulic cylinders start to fill with the oil and the jack rises. When the lever is pulled out, the oil goes into the hydraulic tank and the jack goes down. The lifting platforms will be made of 10 mm slab. They were aligned by the builder's level before welding. The platforms will be connected with a scissor mechanism only from one side with the help of fixators.
Two pins will be welded to the shape tubes and they'll be sliding down the platform. Unfortunately, or maybe for the better the gasoline engine didn't want to work without a gearbox and failed. We decided to replace it with a 2 kilowatts electric motor which definitely needs a gear system. It was made of a gearbox in which the differential was sealed. All the components were placed on the frame. The electric motor connects to the gearbox through a clutch to which the clutch disc has been welded. The torque is transmitted by the drive into the gear pump. It's convenient that you can select the optimal rotary velocity of the gear pump's valve. Before a serious working test the hoses from the hydraulic cylinders were passed into the pipe to avoid being pressed by the platform. First serious test for this jack will be a car lifting weighing just over 1 ton. Believe it or not it dealt with it. We can continue our work and complete the platforms. The angles were welded to them along the perimeter. The removable ramps were also welded on both of sides. A steel box on wheels was welded for the hydro station. Among the control gear there were only the lever and the switch. Further everything was painted with a black wear-resistant paint. A plastic protection was put on the hoses. Since this is a mobile lift, the wheels were welded to it on one side like in the trolley. On the other side, there's a trailing arm. Before moving the lift, we need to remove the ramps and fasten the platform. The lift will be towed using such lever with the wheels. It's also not necessary to drive upon it, it can be dragged under the car from one side. The fluoroplastic slabs were screwed in for a better sliding. The couplings were also welded for the safety pins. There are spacers for some serious work which block the scissor mechanism. Such rubber slabs will serve as gaskets between the car and the platform. They are used for the snow removal blade. The pallet bars also proved themselves to be. The lift turned out to be a very useful thing. I'd hardly painted it till the end, then several cars had already been repaired on it.
As you are aware the Jack easily lifts such small cars and light sedans up to 1,100 kilograms. It's very interesting to know whether it'll be able to raise the car with more serious weight like 1.5 tons. Still 4-ton cylinders are weak, this was clear from the beginning. We need to put 6 tons on each side and test it again. And this will be done in the next video. In the meantime, thanks everyone for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.